Hello, electricity is simply defined as the flow of electrons. Right here I have a piece of half inch copper pipe simulating a conductor, and inside it I have some half inch ball bearings simulating electrons. When you flick a light switch, you just simply add an electron to the end, and it bumps one off the other end. And this happens at the speed of light. Now if you can track the electron, it actually moves very slowly through the conductor, and sometimes it may not even make it to the other end. In an actual conductor, you take the size of the electron times the cross section of the pipe, and that's how many of these lines of electrons would be in it. The rate at which the electrons flow is measured in amperage, and the bigger the conductor, the higher the amperage. Pretty much with electricity, all you're trying to do is control heat. If you have too much heat, you need a bigger conductor. If you have too much amperage flowing through too small of a conductor, it's going to heat up really quickly. I still say that electricity, magnetism, heat, light, and gravity, as well as time, are all the same thing, just different forms of it. I look at magnets as a high voltage battery. It's just like static electricity. And basically gravity is just a different form of magnetism if you want to look at it that way. And I mean gravity bends light. I mean that was one of Einstein's big experiments during the solar eclipse. He was looking at the stars behind the solar eclipse and the sun was actually bending the light from the stars. Because they were in a different place than where they should have been. Heat will demagnetize things and heat is also a byproduct of electricity. I think gravity has stronger forces where magnetism doesn't, and magnetism has stronger forces that gravity doesn't. And I noted one day that when I was soldering copper pipes, I heated up one end, and the heat traveled the length of the pipe as if it was electricity flowing through it. Gravity affects things like light, magnetism affects the metals, gravity affects weight. Heat affects metals and magnetism, and gravity affects weight. Last I checked, density has a huge effect on gravity. And where time comes into the equation, it takes time to heat stuff, it takes time for gravity to, to attract stuff, it also takes time for magnetism to attract stuff, it takes time to magnetize things. Maybe the kind of time we're thinking of is just the opposite of it. Well, thanks for watching, please subscribe and hope you're feeling inspired.